The process of properly managing your blood glucose, also known as glycemic control, is a very important aspect of living with any form of diabetes. After all, controlling these fluctuations is crucial to reducing your risk for long-term complications like peripheral neuropathy, chronic kidney disease, high cholesterol, Alzheimer's disease, and many more. To do this, most doctors use a standard measure called the hemoglobin A1C to measure your blood average over 90 to 120 day period. The A1C measures the percentage of hemoglobin in your blood that has been glycosylated. This provides doctors with an indicator of how much glucose has attached to hemoglobin over the course of the lifetime of hemoglobin molecules, which is approximately 90 to 120 days. The higher the percentage, the more glucose has attached to hemoglobin and the higher your average blood glucose. The A1C test can also be used to diagnose diabetes based on the following guidelines. If your A1C level is below 5.7%, you are considered at the lowest risk for prediabetes and type 2 diabetes. If your A1C level is between 5.7% and less than 6.4%, you may be diagnosed with prediabetes. If your A1C level is 6.5% or higher, you may be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Now, if you're living with autoimmune diabetes, that's type 1 or type 1.5, interpreting your A1C can be a bit more challenging. We recommend maintaining an A1C value between 5.5% and 6.5% with a low frequency of hypoglycemia. That would be less than 4% as indicated by your CGM. 